Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Holly and this is our place to be plant biased. Um, so today we're talking about bacon, but instead of doing a comparison video like I normally do, we're gonna do something a little bit different because when I was cooking the bacon this morning, <clears throat> I realized that one of my options was vegetarian instead of vegan. Um, this happens sometimes. I feel like they are really deceptive with their packaging and sometimes we just kind of assume something of a product when we really should read everything on it. Um, <clears throat> so I'm a little upset that I like purchased this product. It's okay because it's actually a really good lesson for me and I think that it'll be a good lesson for you too. Um, so it's kind of a way that I can show you like what to look for, like what are your red flags, like what makes a product vegan versus like plant powered or like something that they can say and still get away with putting something in the ingredients. It'll all make sense in a second. Um, but it doesn't matter because we still have a really, really good option for plant-based bacon um, that I use in my house all the time. I love it. It's my favorite to just kind of snack on or to put into a sandwich or I don't know, have as like a side to a tofu scramble or something. So we're just gonna take a deep breath. We're gonna be okay with our mistake and we're gonna learn from it. So the option that is vegetarian instead of vegan that I picked up by mistake is veggie bacon strips by Morningstar. So, but Morningstar is okay in our book because they are transitioning to be vegan. I think it was a decision that either was last year or this year. And I guess I kind of just assumed that like it had already happened. Like right, they transitioned. Okay, great. Everything's good. Everybody's vegan and we're all happy. That's not the case. So um, although I love some of Morningstar's products, they have really, really great vegan options. This is one of the products that is not yet vegan. But I, I'm not... I don't think I'm so dumb because like they really tried to trick me, okay? So that it says the power of plants on it. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it says the power of plants. But in the ingredient list, it says contains eggs and or egg whites and non-fat milk. In what world do you live in where chickens and cows are made from plants? Because last time I checked, they had like nervous systems and feelings and like blood in their veins and felt pain. So I don't know what their deal is. I don't know how they can get away with saying the power of plants. Um, maybe because they have a lot of plant ingredients in here. Like the rest of it is plants. I don't, I, water, soybean oil, modified cornstarch, egg whites, soy flour, wheat gluten, hydrolyzed corn protein. So this product really isn't great for us anyway because it has a lot of that like modified stuff in it, which modified basically means like in a lab, they change the chemical or cellular makeup of a thing to make it do something else. I know that's not very technical, but anything that's hydrolyzed or modified, like that's not happening in nature, right? And, and these, neither of these products are happening in nature, but it, those seem very processed, right? But nonfat milk is not made from plants. Cows are not made from plants. Egg whites, eggs, not made from plants. Chickens, not made from plants. I think that it's deceptive and it is a false advertisement to say that this is the power of plants because not everything in here is made from plants. And that really upsets me. Um, like I said, I, I'm a fan of other Morningstar products. I'm just a little, I'm a little PO'd that they got me on this, that I purchased this product because I assumed it was vegan. And yes, it's my fault. It's my fault. I, I didn't look further, but come on, come on. Why do you got to do that? But there are red flags on the back that I should have looked at and I'm going to show you what they are. So there's a frittata recipe on the back of this. That should have been my first red flag. A frittata is made of literally all eggs. So that should have been my first, my first red flag, right? Second is if you go to the contained section of the ingredients, so this is what to look for. Instead of reading this whole ingredient list here, you wanna just go to where it says contains. 
and that is gonna be your quickest way of finding out what the allergens are. So this says contains eggs, soy, wheat, and milk ingredients. I should have read the back, but that's really good to know, right? So if it has a frittata recipe on it, mm, probably not vegan. If it has contains egg and milk ingredients in it, definitely not vegan. So, you know, that's a good thing to look for. And then the third, th the third thing to look for is actually on our other option, which is the Light Life Smart Bacon. And it has this little vegan, like, what do you call that, insignia? So that's the V for vegan. And that, it has to be vegan in order for it to have that little mark. So I would say if you're really trying to be safe, look for that mark. So, you know, you live and you learn. But when you go to the contained section in this product, it says soy and wheat. So that's a good first place to go. Then, you know, look for that vegan mark. If it, if it doesn't have that, but it doesn't contain anything animal product related, then maybe go to the ingredients and, and do a thorough read through. But, you know, unfortunately, some products are just gonna try to trick you. But I still have the product and I'll probably cook it up for like dog treats or something. Um, but this is what it looks like. It comes frozen and it looks pretty awesome, right? Like it, it has like that like fake fat marble in it, which is cool. Um, you know, when they do make this product officially vegan, I might try it again and I'll let you know how it is. But for now, it's not gonna be for me. It is what it is. But then the Light Life version, which is the version that I love, here's what it looks like uncooked. Um, and the whole package is recyclable, it says. It does come in that like plastic sheath, which I don't love, but beggars and choosers, you know? So it says, not all plants, not all proteins are created equal. Many plant proteins such as soy, legumes, and quinoa are complete proteins that fuel you with all nine essential amino acids your body needs. So this is made from soy um, and vital wheat gluten. So it's not gluten-free, but, um, and then nothing else in here is really turning me away. I cook it on the stove. You can also cook it in the conventional or toaster oven. Um, the... Morningstar has about 60 calories per two slices, and this has about 40 calories per two slices, so definitely healthier here. This one's also not vegan, so, you know, whatever. But uh, zero grams of trans or saturated fats, which is great. You know, a lot of sodium, 140 milligrams. Um, no sugar, three grams of protein, which is great. Uh, you know, it's fake bacon but it's really great. So I have it here. I just cooked this up. You can make it really crispy or you can um, cook it less to make it kind of chewy. I, I like to crisp it up, but it's so good. It looks nice, right? Mine doesn't come out like that, but I'm sure you could get it to look like that. But I remember telling you, I judge a vegan product based on if I can just eat it by itself, right? So if I have to like mask it in a recipe and like it kind of has like a funkiness to it, that's not a good product. But if I can just sit here and snack on it as it is, like that is a good product. So this Light Life Bacon is that way. I just snack on it all day long. I usually cook the entire package and I like whenever I want something kind of salty, I just go and take a slice, um, which is probably not the healthiest thing in the world, but I love it. So I put it on, you know, bacon cheeseburgers, because you can make those vegan. I put it on egg sandwiches. I use just like a, a tofu patty and I use like nutritional yeast, turmeric, and like the black, black salt to make it kind of, um, you know, eggy. Um, there are ways, people. So I'm from Long Island and I love my egg sandwiches. So when I stopped eating eggs and cheese, I had to make, you know, something else work. So this Light Life Bacon goes really, really well in that. And hopefully sometime, in the future, I'll make one of those for you. I think at some point, maybe this year, Light Life had a little bit of like an altercation or like an internet war with Beyond or Impossible Meats. I don't know too much about that, but you know, this product is one that I love through them and there's really nothing like it. The only other option that I've seen is um, like tempeh bacon, which tempeh is always gonna taste like tempeh. It's not gonna have the same kind of texture. Um, and then I think that there might be one or two more, but they're kind of hard to find. I'll keep looking for them. Um, but this bacon is really great. It's my go-to. The only thing that you're going to lack is if you are one of those bacon eaters who really liked that, like, 
fatty chewiness, like the actual like texture of the animal. Um, obviously this doesn't have that, but overall it tastes so incredibly similar. And if you, if you think about it, like we've been creating, you know, bacon products, bacon flavored products for decades, you know, and there's vegan, um, bacon flavored popcorn out there. There's, you know, those little, those little bacon bits that you find in the jar that's supposed to like go on your salad. I remember those from when I was a kid. So like at least a decade ago. Um, and my siblings and I used to go into the cabinets and like pour some in our mouths and then like, you know, sneakily run away. Cause you know, children love bacon, I guess. Um, but those bacon bits are actually not an animal product. They are made from soy. So even 10 plus years ago, you know, we were making bacon flavored soy bits to go on our salads and what have you. And so like, that was totally acceptable and nobody thought anything of it. It was just, I guess everybody just assumed it was an animal product, but it wasn't because it was supposed to be shelf stable. So it's be like in your cabinet. So like, you know, this is really nothing new, but I'm so glad that they have it. Like this is an awesome product and it's, it's perfect. Like I don't, I don't desire anything else from it. It's great alone. It's great on sandwiches. It's great in recipes. I've chopped it up and put it in risotto before. Like it's awesome. Um, you know, I am disappointed in Morningstar. I really hope that they transition into veganism faster. Um, but it's great that they are. So, you know, it is what it is for that for now. And you know, we have a really great light, light, light life product, you know, for any of our bacon needs as of this moment. So, you know, if you guys have any questions about these or you want me to try a different bacon products, please just let me know in the comments. Please also subscribe so that we can continue doing this together. Um, I'd love to hear from all of you. Please make sure you like my video also. I'm really happy that you guys are here. I hope you're enjoying this. I hope this is a good resource for you. I hope that I'm able to help you. I really appreciate all of you being here for me. Um, I'm gonna keep eating my bacon and having my breakfast and I hope you guys have an awesome day.